Welcome! In today's video, we're heading straight into Hedera's leading decentralized exchange, SourceSwap, which we will provide you with a complete guide on how to swap, provide liquidity, and utilize all of the features on the SourceSwap decks in the Hedera ecosystem. Nonetheless, nothing in this video is financial advice. We are not financial advisors. Do not invest in anything you can't afford to lose. Use a burner wallet for extra security and always conduct your own research. Before we begin, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button to support our channel and stay up to date with the latest crypto guides, reviews, news, technical analysis, and so much more. Friends, let's jump straight into the video. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so are you ready to begin with the SourceSwap Dex tutorial? So, officially we are on the website, which is sourceswap.finance. We've got the official X page, which is at SourceSwap Labs. Give them a follow and turn on the notification bells to stay up to date with everything regarding the decentralized exchange and token. However, my friends, we are here to provide you with a complete guide on how to use these Source Swap decks in the Hedera ecosystem. If you would like to learn more about Source Swap, you can see everything here regarding their statistics, of which this is the leading decentralized exchange of the entire Hedera network. It's got a TVL of $96.69 million, total trading volume of $2.9 billion, a market cap of $46.8 million for its token, circulating source tokens, staked source tokens, and all-time trades conducted on the platform now scrolling down guys you can see the top trending tokens on the platform you can see all of the features of which you can utilize on source swap of which we'll show you shortly in this video you can see everything that you need to know and if you want to do more research which we recommend you do as you always should conduct your own research you can visit the source swap website which is sourceswap.finance however my friends as we said, we are here to provide you with a tutorial. And once you are ready to get started, all you're going to need to do is click get started. Once you are here, guys, from the get go, you are going to be introduced to the Source Swap decentralized exchange, of which you will see the swapping option from the get go. Now, we first need to use our Hedera wallet, which is going to be the Hashpack wallet. For those who haven't set up a Hashpack wallet in the past, my friends, you can watch our tutorial on our YouTube channel. However, we will leave that link in the description below, but you're going to need to have your Hashpack wallet set up in order to continue. And therefore, once you are ready, you can see the button in the top right corner, of which now it prompts us to use one of our installed wallets, of which we're going to choose Hashpack. Once you select this, my friends, as you can see, the Hashpack wallet will pop up and you just need to log in. Next, once you're ready, you just need to select your account and continue. And as you can see, we are now officially in. Therefore, my friends, in the swapping section, you can see the HBAR balance with which I have in my wallet. Down below that, you can see the source tokens of which I have in my wallet. The source token is the native token of the source of swap decks, and therefore, that's why it is the first token that appears in the swapping section. However, how it works. So, to swap tokens on the source of swap decks, the token up top in the from section is the token that you will be selling. So, if you select where it says HBAR, guys, you'll be able to see all of the tokens that appear. Say, for example, you wanted to swap your HBAR tokens. In the token section down below, you see that right now we've currently got source selected. In the to section, if you click where it says source or whichever token that appears, as you can see, you can select any token within the Hedera ecosystem and all the tokens that are listed on the source of swap decks. If you have a particular token in mind or if you have a particular contract address, you can very simply paste it in the search bar up top. But let's just say, for an example, you wanted to swap into the native USDC token. You can now very simply choose an amount you want to swap. And therefore, let's just say I swapped around 50 of my HBAR token. You can see that we'll get $12.36 swapped into USDC. You can adjust the slippage however you wish, my friends. You just have to manually do it or automatically do it. It's entirely up to you. Down below, you'll see the exact route of which it will swap. And once you are ready, you just click swap. Next, it's going to open up in your Hedera wallet, which if you are ready, you just click continue. And as you can see, it's executing the trade of which it is going to swap HBAR tokens into USDC. It took a few seconds. And as you can see now, my friends, if we give our wallet a refresh, now we can see our USDC tokens appear under the HBAR tokens. Therefore, that is very simply how to swap into any token, my friend. If you want to very simply now sell your token, you just click the reverse button and you just click max or however much you want to sell in the top section. Then you choose the token down below of which you want to sell into. And then once again, you just click swap, success once again, give our wallet a refresh, and voila, we have now got all our tokens back into HBAR. Now, my friends, that is very simply the swapping feature in the source of swap decks. There is another section of which you can see where it says buy. This is very simply just an on-ramp option of which you can buy Hedera tokens directly into your wallet through the MoonPave on-ramp feature. 
However, most people are not going to be using this. You can directly do that through your wallet as well if you wanted to. You just need to go to the on-ramp section of which it says buy or sell, and then you would choose the token of which you want to buy or sell. Now, my friends, that is the swapping section in a nutshell. Moving over to the next section, we want to move over to liquidity and therefore you can earn trading fees and token rewards by depositing assets into liquidity pools. Now, this is not going to be for everyone. And remember, my friends, this is just a tutorial. This is not financial advice. However, for those who are looking to earn fees from the source of swap decks, you can very simply provide liquidity for any liquidity pool within the Hedera ecosystem. So you can see you've got HBAR X to HBAR, USDC to HBAR, HBAR X to HBAR, Source to HBAR, Source to HBAR, and so many others. So my friends, it's entirely up to you which ones you can pick. You can see the correlated liquidity with each pool, the amount of volume conducted with each pool, the amount of volume conducted each week, and how much in fees and how much APR you will earn from that pool. Now, depending on which one you want to do, my friends, it's entirely up to you. I'm just going to pick out a random example. You can see this source to HBAR one. So the source token is the native token of the source of swap DEX, and Hedera HBAR doesn't need any explanation. Now you can see this has a pool size of $5.3 million in liquidity, and therefore it is one of the least volatile pools within the entirety of the DEX. You can also see a nice amount of volume of which it conducts on a daily and weekly basis. You can see that it also generates a nice amount of fees every 24 hours, and it has a lovely APR of 61.34%, but bear in mind that is variable. Now, I'm just going to select this one, but please guys, bear in mind that before you deposit into any pool, you must understand all the risks associated with liquidity pools, such as in permanent loss and so on. Now, down below, guys, you'll be able to see all of the rewards that we'll earn. Now, the cool thing is with this pool, this is a V2 pool of which we can earn Larry rewards. And this basically enables us to earn additional incentives without staking our tokens. And this is a unique pool of which we can use in Source of Swap if you wanted to do this. And in order to add tokens into this pool, you're going to need to have both Source and HBAR. Now, I know that I've already got Source and HBAR. However, once you click New Position, you will need to confirm that down here. Now, you can see my tokens over here, guys, but very simply for those who need to get the tokens to add into a pool, you would very simply go to the swapping section, choose the tokens of which you are going to deposit into a pool. As you know, I am doing the HBAR to Source pool. And just as an example, I'm going to swap more HBAR into Source. I'm now going to go back over to the liquidity section, I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to choose the pool that I wanted to deposit into. As you can see, it's this Source to HBAR V2. It's got the Larry rewards. Now I'm going to go to new position. Down below, we can very simply choose the volatility strategy of which we want to do. Now, you can either choose a manual option or an automatic option. The automatic option will just do it automatically, obviously, and we won't have to select any single route. If you do the manual method, my friends, you'll have to choose a volatility strategy, and therefore it could be focused. This prioritizes high swap fees in a narrow range. You must monitor this position regularly for optimal results. With the balanced, a middle path strategy earns well but does require some oversight monitor semi regularly so you don't need as much monitoring if you were to do balanced if you do relax my friends this is the most convenient for those who aren't going to check up on it a lot and this is optimized for moderate fees with less active management check this position occasionally so it's entirely up to you which ones you're going to do my friends if you are active in the hedera ecosystem focus might be the best for you it's entirely up to you but i'm going to go with balance because we're going to meet somewhere in the middle now moving on down below, we are going to very simply choose an amount of tokens we want to deposit into the pool. Now, if I was to select, for example, an amount of source tokens, if I put 48.47 of my tokens, you can see that it's going to automatically balance out the amount of Hedera tokens that I need to deposit. And therefore, once you are happy with this, my friends, and you've got an amount that you are happy to deposit into the pool to earn rewards, you would very simply click approve and mint position. Now, once you have done this, my friends, as you can see, we can now come back over to the source of swap decks. It's going to load up. You can see the liquidity has been added. You can go over to my positions, give the page a refresh. And as you can see, we have now got our liquidity pool balance here of $6.09, no pun intended. However, my friends, if you were to click on this, as you can see here, you can now either A, increase your liquidity, which means you're going to deposit more source and HBAR tokens into the pool. Decreasing liquidity will give you the option of withdrawing all of your tokens so you can have them back in your wallet. So once you are ready to do that, you would click decrease liquidity. 
Once you have earned rewards, my friends, you can claim the fees of which have been generated. So you know that you are earning Larry rewards as well, which is fantastic. And down below, you'll be able to see the deposits and so on. Now, once you do earn rewards, my friends, you'll be able to just very simply click that claim fees button. And as you can see, you'll be able to see the tokens of which you'll be able to claim, which is source hbar for now but you'll also see larry rewards in the future but my friends that is very simply the swapping and liquidity features the next feature i'm going to briefly show you is the staking section now the staking section would enable you to stake your source tokens which is the native token of the dex like we've shown you and you will earn some hedera rewards absolutely fantastic and there are going to be three methods of which we can do this now we've only got one that is live at the moment however you can see that if you stake source you will receive x source to earn triple the rewards now if you click more info my friends you'll be taken over to the documentation so you can give it a full read and understanding if you go back very soon you'll be able to stake your x source in community pools and then after that my friends we're going to be seeing the sourceling nfts in which will be able to give us an apr boost so we're going to see more rewards coming to the source token staking so i'm very excited to see this however my friends you can see everything you need to know about the source staking which is active right now it has an apr of 8.36 percent pretty cool but obviously is variable you can see that i've got a claimable amount of source which obviously i've been staking tokens for those who don't know however for those who are looking to stake my friends as you can see you click the stake button you very simply choose an amount it could be 36.35 tokens you just click approve and stake once again that is very simply how to stake through source swap you can see a successful transaction and then once you are ready my friends you can very simply claim your source now i've got four dollars and 38 cents worth which is claimable and i can just click unstake this would very simply enable me to unstake all of my x source tokens just like so but I'm going to leave it in there to earn some juicy rewards, of which is going to earn us rewards without the risk of any impermanent loss. Now, staking does come with other risks, my friends, so please bear in mind all of the risks associated with staking. However, in this video, we've shown you how to swap. We've shown you how to provide liquidity, and we've shown you how to stake through the source of swap decks. There's a couple other things I want to show you guys, but it's going to be very brief. So in the more section up top, as you can see, we've got a portfolio tab, and this enables you to, to take a look at your entire portfolio through the source of swap decks, of which you can see all your tokens, you can see all your pools of which are in V1, all your V2 pools, all your V1 farms, all your V2 vaults, everything in the infinity pool, all of your Larry rewards, and so on. So guys, this is a nice little overview of which you can check what you're doing on the source of swap decks, especially if you're messing around with all the pools and all the farms and all the vaults and so on. But my friends, one last thing for those who are looking to bridge tokens to and from the EVM, you can very simply use the Hashport protocol, which is a third party protocol. However, I'm not going to show you how to do it, but you would very simply just choose a network, choose a token, and very simply, that is how you would do it. But friends, we'll save that for a future video. But for now, this was just very simply a Dex tutorial on Saucer Swap. So my friends, thank you so much once again for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button because it really shows support on our channel. We appreciate every single one of you who tunes into our videos. If you want any specific video in the Hedera ecosystem, let us know in the comment section down below or any video in particular, my friends, and we'll be happy to help you. Nonetheless, everyone, thank you once again, and we can't wait to see you in the next video.